Hello, my YouTube peeps. I'm back again. I thought I was going to make four videos, but I'm, I'm going to squeeze this into three right quick. Here's what I found at Pier 1 the other night. This is actually a pretty nice pillow. You can see it was, it was new. It is new. And they got a price tag on that of $59.99 for that pillow. But you know what they did to it? This. This is what they did to it. They slashed it. But it's got some really good stuff in it. Really soft, good stuff. It ain't the... The cheap stuff, it's its actually the really good, good stuff. So what I'm going to do is get some material. And I'm going to redo that pillow. And then I found this white pedestal. Nothing wrong with it. Right there's the top. It's pretty. I'm not into the real fancy stuff like this, so... I don't know what I'm really going to do with it. And then I found this plant. And it was next to the dumpster, next to that. But I found this at a, like a furniture design store. Not the one where I found the flowers, but another one. And the only reason I took this is because it's a really nice plant. Wakefield. I mean, it's a nice plant. I put a few lights around the bottom because that's what I'm going to do to it. I don't mind if it's a fake plant as long as it's a nice plant. And it's really nice. It's not dirty, dusty. I mean, it's it's pretty. I just put some lights around the bottom of it to give you an idea because when you put white lights on it, it's just really pretty. Kind of like how I got that one over there in the corner. So I'm probably going to give that plant right there to my daughter. Or pitch it. And then I found another pillow at Pier 1. Of course they got damaged, written out. And here's what the back of it looks like. It looks like it was sitting on on a something, I don't know. But the stuff inside of it, oh God, is extremely soft. Extremely, extremely soft. This is actually a really pretty pillow. But, like I said, I'm going to redo that one. There's no price tag on that one, but I like the little tassels on it and then we have a big gigantic pillow right here great big gray pillow right here you can see they slashed it right there this pillow is humongous they really destroyed the back of it look what they did they just cut it but like I said it ain't that cheap that cheap stuff you buy that goes in pillows, it's the real, real, really soft stuff. So I have those three pillows there. That pedestal. That plant. Then I'm going to take you over here and show you the rest of the stuff I got. Okay, I found a music bookstore. And I'm not really into bringing books into the house. But these I could not pass up. First of all, I have a whole stack. Give you an idea. Of things. Woodworking, paint, cabinets, basic wiring, space and storage. Just showing you different books of how to do stuff, plumbing, and these books are in 
excellent condition. Nothing wrong with them at all. And they don't seem to be really old either. And then I found this World War II book. It's got a price on it of $40. And this is, um, this paperback was, um, the back of this one was tore right there. But when you take the cover off, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. This is what the book looks like. Really nice book. Excellent condition. Excellent condition. Nothing wrong with it. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me move this out of my way right quick. Sorry, guys. Okay. Then I found this stack of books in excellent condition. Let me give you an idea what, what they are here. They got very beautiful pictures in them. Ice Ages, Gemstones, Restless Oceans, Atmosphere, Rivers and Lakes, Volcanoes, Glaciers. Con continents and collisions, uh, forced, edge of the sea, storm, and solar system. These books are all really nice, nice books. Um, they just show different pictures of different things. About the solar system and stuff like that. Really, really neat book. And here's one on storms. Nothing wrong with it. Excellent condition. They're thick books too. They're they're nice. I just couldn't pass them up. And let me tell you what. That dumpster, right there it says, The Great Galveston Gale of 1900. Um, I like looking at these books. They're, I think they're pretty cool. Um, I'm sure them cost some bucks to have that collection right there. But anyway. And then I have books on... More books on, um, let me see here, roses, um, houseplants, um, evergreens, design your garden, they're in really good condition. Shows you how it gives you tips on stuff, different bugs and stuff that can eat your plants, stuff like that. Gardening, and then I found a book on sewing and edges corners. I do have a sewing machine. So, I do know how to sew. So, this will come in handy. And then I have... Oops. I got so much crap. It's falling all over the place. Then I have um, Lawns and Ground Coverings. A book. I want a four nine nine for that one. And then this was a pretty cool paperback book. It's in all right condition. The silent healer of the aloe vera plant. So, whoa, we got CDs there. And then, 
I don't know why I got this book, but it's actually, it's, it's made by some physician, and he actually signed it. Right there. Um, it talks about athletes and stuff, and stuff you can get from being an athlete, like getting hurt. And then I have some more CDs here. A lot of these are Christmas CDs. Sounds of another season. <laughs> There's an old, old CD right there, buddy. And then A State of Grace, Music of the Seasons. Right there it is. The CD's broke down. And then here's another CD. I don't know what I'm picking up in the dark, so. But it's so full of CDs. That. And that dumpster is really dirty, too. It's. That dumpster is just dirty. Thank God that these books didn't get anything on them. But anyway, I found this worker. I don't know why I put this one. Um, it's signed to Karen from Mitch. And Mitch is the one who made this CD. And the only reason I took it is because it was made in Covington, Kentucky right across the river from me. And it's in excellent condition. You can see there's... don't even look like it's been played. And there ain't no way that I'm going to leave no Garver Washington Jr. Inner City Blues behind. No happenings. And this is an album. And these are all in really good condition. And there's no way I'm leaving, leaving Luther Vandross behind. No, 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 no. And you all know this see this album, excellent condition. Stevie Wonder. Isn't she lovely? Look at that. Beautiful condition. I'm gonna take it out. Look at that. You can see from my ceiling fan. Not a scratch on it. Immaculate. Slide this back in here. Hold on, you guys. I just want to put it back in its spot. Oops. So I didn't want to leave that behind. And then, of course, I have the Great Band Era. And this is the whole collection. 37 top bands play. 10 years of top tunes from 1936 to 1945. And it's got a lot. A lot. Of people. Singers. And it's in a big case right there. All the records are in there. Nice collection there. I don't know why I took them, but I just can't leave those out. I gotta, I'm gonna put those in plastic and put them away. Then I found a couple kids' books. I don't hear anything. It says something about a digital disc. I don't know. But it's just got stories in it. Oh, it's got a little thing. You open it up. That's cute. And then I found... Oh, look at that. It says press right there. It's a Walt Disney book. It's pretty thick. 
look inside. Oh, look. Now I know why those little holes are there. So when you turn the page, you can see the little sparkles. Let's see. So there's that book. So that's what I got. And I can't remember if I showed this or not, but I found a ton of uh, DVDs and um, DVDs and um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, DVDs and uh, CDs and um, VHS. And I found this. This is, you know what this is? Look at that old car. You know what this is? Push that button. You put your tape in there. And it rewinds it. It's a rewinder. That's pretty cool. And it come with the charger. The paperwork. Let me see. And years ago, the man paid a lot of money for it. I don't know where the paper went. I think it's under here. But <clears throat> I've seen it somewhere here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I think I did share this. I just thought it was pretty neat. It's from um, January the 23rd, 1990. He, bought, he purchased it at JC Penney and he paid $24.85 for it back then. See that? Videotape rewinder. That's pretty cool. But anyway, folks, this is what I have. And like I said, I gotta wing this stuff out of my living room. My my grandbaby comes over and I just have stuff everywhere. You can see, look at this. Just tons of stuff. I don't let my house get like this. I just don't. There's stuff down there I didn't even record. That's a jewelry box right there. I found it um, Hallmark. And there's a container back there with candle and stuff in it. There's a tri um, an easel I found brand new in the box. Um, I just put some stuff there. I have tons of stuff down there. There's more stuff right here. Like, really? Look at my baker's rack. It's full of stuff. Some of this, I didn't find all that stuff, but a lot of this stuff right here, I did find. Like, some of that flower stuff. I don't know what's in that. Gloves, my gloves. Oh, and here's a turd. Doo-doo. It's fake. I played a prank on my grandbaby. I put clean sheets and blankets on the bed. I told him to get up in the bed. I said, because Momo has got your spot all nice and cozy for you. And I put that there and he, I go, oh no, I poo pooed in the bed. And he found it and he, he cracked up. That's my mommy and daddy. They're both gone. <clears throat> and there's a picture of my daddy and me. It was our birthday. Me and his birthday was together, and that was his friend Alice, my friend too. And of course, that bag I found, and there's a big picture frame I found. I, I want this for. Uh, something special from my grandchild that I have something to put in that. 
There's a whole bag of stuff. All those flowers still. At least I'm down to one tote. Oh, there's a toy right there. Some flowers. <sighs> Rucka was asking me about some flowers. And she asked me if I had some roses. And I told her I would have to look because there's still so many flowers in here. So I gotta look for you, Rekka. I think you was wanting these right there. I can't wait to find to do something with them because it was beautiful right there. But anyway, folks. Um I gotta get to the bank, put money in my bank account. So just wanted to show you guys my last video for now. I'm pretty sure I showed you everything I got. I got to clean this place up because I can't take it no more. I can't stand all my house is starting to look like a I don't even know what you call it. I don't like all this clutter. And my boyfriend don't really give a coot. But let me tell you what. He don't care about anything. But he's starting to complain. <laughs> so that's telling me something. So I got to get this place cleaned up. I got to... He made a big shelf in the basement for me. We have shelves in the basement. So I don't know. I guess I'm going to put this stuff... And totes and have a big yard sale or something. I don't know. But anyway, people, thank you so much, my YouTuber peeps, um, for watching my videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Because I sure do you all. But anyway, I love you all. Have a good day. Until the next video. Goodbye.